short and sweet. Hi folks, we're in summer 2024. This is important because AI things change very, very rapidly. A year ago, what I'm going to show you now was unthinkable. In a year's time, things will be different anyway. Anyway, I wanted to see how image to video artificial intelligence deals with old photographs. By old, I mean photos 100 and more years old, like this one from the early 20th century, rural Texas. Or the heroin drug dealer and grandfather of the US President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Warren Delano Jr. with his grandchildren in 1897, a year before his death. My third photograph is from 1923, the child Yvonne Borceau and Fred Barnum, photographed by Alfred Stieglitz. Then a group of women at a table, photographed by Frank R. Snyder in 1905. And finally, an Alice in Wonderland illustration from 1886, an illustration that's not a photograph. Five pictures and my first attempt to make them alive. Let me start with a little girl who has a doll in her right hand and is depicted with a man carrying a milk can, I guess. I have to crop the photo to landscape mode 1280 by 768. My first prompt is grandfather and grandchild with her doll walk through the garden. The camera follows them and zooms out. It takes a few seconds only for runway generation 3 alpha turbo to reimagine this photo and convert it into a video clip of 10 seconds. I think this is pretty amazing. The trousers of the man, the fall of the folds, the shadows, the face of the girl, the hands, the way the two folks walk, all very well done. The photograph was black and white and in the video changes slightly in color. The grass gets a hint of green. I'll use the same seed for a second attempt. Seed is a number which relates to the statistical process of rendering the video. With the same seed I get basically the same video, but this time I insist on the girl's doll. Grandfather and grandchild walk through the garden. The girl has her doll in her right hand. The camera quickly zooms out. It does not quickly zoom out, but the milk can is now the doll. And interestingly, the doll walks through the grass as well. You can do this with your childhood photographs or with photos of your grandparents. I don't want to do this because I won't like the way AI invents my grandparents' behavior, the way they move their bodies when they talk or walk. I just don't like that idea, so I try photographs from somebody else. Let me try a third prompt for this photo from 1923. We see a house and a garden. Grandfather and grandchild walk through the garden. The girl has her doll in the right hand. Now things get absurd. Certainly an inspiration for a story. The man walks backwards, the child forward. Now, is this possible physically and anatomically? It doesn't matter really, it's a fantasy. Let's try the next image, Henrietta, Texas, a small town northwest of Dallas around 1910. The prompt goes like this. In the old ranch, the workday has ended. The horse looks at the camera. All folks turn their heads to the horse on the left. They are happy people. Steam evaporates from the chimney of the house. Well, no steam, no looks to the left, but all in all, quite interesting. A vivid ranch party with a horse. Everybody in the scene moves, plays, jumps. The camera gets closer to the group. Let's make the horse walk to the center of the image. And the horse and a few of the folks walking. 
Now for something completely different. The businessman and drug baron Warren Delano Jr. with his grandchildren in 1897. In my prompt, I only mentioned the camera. The camera cycles the garden scene from above. Here the folks don't come to life, but the AI shows its way of thinking. It almost perfectly cuts out the persons. This is like a mixture of a 2D look combined with a 3D look. An illustration from 1886, Alice in Wonderland, my first prompt. Don't tell me what to do, the girl says. We have animals at the table, so you better leave. All persons and the animals move. The girl speaks. A shot remains in the black and white aesthetics of the late 19th century, but the porcelain has vivid colors. The AI seems to not understand anything in my prompt. The man speaks. Instead of typing in a variation of my prompt, I let the AI rethink the process with another random seed. Now both people at the table speak. And the man raises his hand, preserving the style of the old illustration somehow. Next prompt. The two people are shocked because the two animals jump onto the table. The shot remains in the black and white aesthetics of the late 19th century, but the porcelain has vivid colors. Well, no vivid colors. Two more approaches with different seeds. Let me try the last example, this amazing photograph from 1905. It's very complex. This time I want the video to end, not to start with the original photograph. My first prompt is this. A lively, friendly group of women in a room with a table and a window on the left. They descend from the top and take their seats happily. The camera is static and preserves the black and white look and feel of the 1910 sort of scene. I can feel the happiness in the videos, that's for sure. The women don't descend from the top of the room, but just sit down. The woman in the very center of the photo, with her back to the camera, is the biggest problem for the AI. In the next attempt, we see two of the women actually descend from stairs at the back. The left one of the two steps through the table and finally turns her head, not her body. Yet another try. Now the woman in the center rises from her chair floats across the table and sits down on the other side. Now let me start with the photograph and let the scene develop from there. A new prompt. A lively, friendly group of women in a room with a table and a window on the left. While they happily talk, the light dims and gets totally black. The camera is static and preserves the black and white look and feel of the 1910 scene. It does not get dark at all, but the camera motion and the entertaining scene of the women was really lovely. Since this video starts from the photo and develops further, and the other variations end without photo, I can combine the previous scene with this one. Now the original photograph is in the middle. Of course, folks, none of the AI videos are perfect, but the irritations are much less than a couple of months ago. In most variations we see proper hands, not hands with seven or ten fingers, etc. I think that's not the point anyway. Maybe the point is inspiration. <laughs>